We started the December Dangle Fest in 2017 with 16 teams in two divisions with the hopes of someday growing the event like the girls game has grown in Minnesota the last 10 years. After changing venues four times, we finally settled into a supersized rink for a supersized crowd. We tried our best to make the event super, handing out player of the game teddy bears to top players on each team for all 140 games. By end of the weekend, the rink looked more like a Build-A-Bear store than a hockey rink. The girls also got to enjoy meeting opponents and girls from the event while trading pins with teams at all levels. Now called the Dangle Fest, we got to meet 68 teams from dozens of communities from all over the state, including Northfield Fairball, Rochester, Laverne, Brainerd Little Falls, Grand Rapids Greenway, Bemidji, and Roseau. With six levels of hockey spanning from 10B to 15A, we had a blast getting to know them all. We met so many great coaches, teams, and players. In 10A, we crown a new champion and a new number one ranked team in the state. The Chaska Chanhassen Stormhawks stormed their way through Blaine and left with their first stick. The 10B saw an overpowering force called Woodbury take the stick and skate with it. One of the best divisions we saw was the 12Bs, led by the state's top team, Laverne. Highly skilled Cardinals fought off Minnetonka twice to get their name permanently inscribed on the hardware. If 12B was the best, 12A maybe was the most exciting. With 9 out of the state's top 10 teams on hand, the competitive balance was awesome. Fast times at Ridgemont High, awesome. YZ mounted a three goal comeback to defeat defending champion Minnetonka to get the association's first ever YJH championship trophy. The 15B championship game saw a crew from Grand Rapids Greenway unseat top ranked undefeated Eden Prairie in the championship. Some say lightning doesn't strike the same spot twice. That is true. It struck four times in Blaine as GRG scored four in a row to claim the 15B title. Last doesn't mean least. Forest Lake showed why they're a top 5 15A team in Minnesota. Strong defense, great goaltending, and timely scoring led the Rangers to their first ever stick late on New Year's Day. After a long weekend of hockey, 24 teams left playing with hard work, but only 6 got to touch the famed golden stick, handed out to champions of each division. A stick that has been won by several state champions, players of the year, and college-bound stars. The stick says it all.